What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Javante with Tech with Tay. Uh, glad to have you all here. Today we're going to be going over the CompTIA A+, CompTIA Network+, Plus, CompTIA Security Plus exams. We're going to be going over everything from what I use to study for the exam, some exam tips, and also, you know, is it even worth it? Uh, you know, to take the exam, is it a waste of money? Are you uh, wasting your time? Are you going to be a millionaire after you take them? Going to make it six figures working from home after taking these three exams? Let's go and cover it all and uh, let's get to it. All right, so starting off, what I use to study for the exam is going to be pretty much strictly Professor Messer. Uh, Professor Messer has everything you need study groups as far as like practice questions he has the full courses he breaks everything down from the exam uh, objectives uh, 1.1 all the way to 5 point whatever depending on which exam you're taking so you really don't need pretty much anything other than professor messer in my opinion of course it's good to look at different resources and things of that nature but he lays it all out he has uh practice a full practice exam as well you can take he has study course notes that has all the videos pretty much compressed in the notes all of the slides and all of those things uh you can you can use those if you want uh they they do cost like 25 dollars for the course notes 40 for the uh, practice exams and the course notes uh so yeah, I would definitely, I definitely bought them for the Network Plus and the Security Plus because they were little, little harder exams uh, other than the uh, A Plus. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I used for for all three exams. It's going to be Professor Messer. You got everything you need. Why look anywhere else? Why go paying for all these different things? You can get it for free. You got to pay for the exam anyway, right? So uh, yeah. All right. So as far as the exam tips. I would say always, you know, show up early. Uh, early, being early is on time. If you're on time, you're late. That was always something I was taught growing up, and I believe it until this day. Uh, so yeah, as far as like the A plus and network plus, I would say when you get into the exam, they give you a little marker and like a little whiteboard that you can write on. Uh, for those, I would definitely say write down uh, port numbers because those port numbers can be kind of hard to remember all of them sometimes. And uh, I would say write down as many as you can on the paper. They don't, they won't penalize you anything like that. You don't have your phone. You don't have any resources. So everything is coming from your knowledge. You can write down what you know. Uh, and especially for the uh, Network Plus, I would say going through Professor Messer's uh, uh, course, you're going to have this thing called a, sec a seven second subnet. This is super helpful. Uh, it, it lets you, you know, convert bind uh, decimal to binary and binary to decimal very quickly as far as the uh, cyber block notation. Uh, it helps you do all, all those kind of things in, in pretty much seven seconds after you write the chart down. So I would say as soon as you get into the exam, lay out this chart, write out this chart, uh, any subnet questions that you have. You got it like that. It's really no, you don't even have to think about it really because you pretty much have the answers laid out for you. Uh, so that definitely helped me a lot. Now, another big thing I would say going going uh, through the exam, take your time uh, like I'm not doing while I'm speaking right now. I feel like I'm speaking really quickly. Y'all let me know in the comments if I have and I'll try to slow it down on the next video. Uh, but yeah, I would say as far as going through the uh, questions, Take your time, really read the questions, you know, two, three times. I feel like I've read some of the questions seven, eight times probably. I really want to understand what they're asking me. Uh, and also, you can actually pick up hints for later questions uh, down the line that will actually help you, uh, you know, as far as even like port numbers, as far as terms that you might have forgot that it might spark your memory, like, oh, I forgot about that. And then it could be an answer uh, later on in the exam that, you know, so pay attention to the questions, the answers. Uh, and also, it is a timed exam. Uh, you have 90 minutes. If you don't know something in the first, I guess, what, 30 to 45 seconds, I would say uh, flag it. And then come back to it at the end and then, you know, just go back and redo it because you don't want to be sitting there wasting your time trying to think of answers on the question that you might not have the answer to. And that's the thing. You don't have to get them all right. You need, uh, you know, from like around the 700, depending on which exam you're taking, they all vary in the uh, score that you need. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you don't have to get them all right. 
So if you don't know it, keep moving. Get as many as you can, right? Uh, as far as the performance-based questions, some people tend to skip these questions and come back to them, but I like to knock them out right in the beginning because they have a lot of information as well that can help you with the whole exam. Uh, and I feel like they're kind of fun to do. They're interactive. You get to set up networks, things of that nature. So, uh, yeah, I like to knock those out as soon as possible uh, because you don't know how much time you're going to have at the end of the exam. So they're going to take you the longest out of the whole exam. So go ahead and knock those out. Uh, yeah, I believe that's all for the tips. Uh, good luck, you know. Go in, you know, strong-minded, confident. Know you're gonna, know you're gonna get it. Know you're gonna, uh, know you're gonna pass the exam. Because hey, if you don't, guess what? You can go take it again. So don't stress yourself out too much. All right. So I guess the big question on this video, maybe I don't know. I could have already helped y'all. Y'all might have left the video. But if you're still here, should you take the CompTIA Plus, the CompTIA Network Plus, and the CompTIA Security Plus exams. I have a different a different perspective now that I've uh, passed all three of these all three of these exams, and uh, my my mind has changed from what I from what I thought before when I was trying to get into the industry. I would say if you don't have any knowledge at all about computers, you just use them to get simple tasks done, and that's it. I would say take all three of them. That means like take the A plus exam and, and get the base level of knowledge on computers and hard drives and RAM and operating systems. I didn't even know what Linux was uh, <laughs> until I took the A plus exam. Uh, so yeah, a lot of people don't even know that Linux exists as an operating system. They think we just have Windows and Mac. Uh, but yeah, if you don't know anything, I would say definitely take the A-plus exam. If you have some prior knowledge of computers, I really wouldn't waste my time, or, or I wouldn't waste my money, i say, uh, on taking the A-plus exam. I would say go through, I guess, the, the course and look at what they're talking about, because there are some good things in there that you can pick up and learn uh, that you can use as far as things like uh, RAID. Uh, that's one big thing that uh, people tend to you know use on the job from the a plus is going to be raid uh so and port numbers for sure but you learn port numbers on network plus as well so yeah if you do have some knowledge uh then definitely take the network plus security plus depending on which route you want to go i might just say you might just want to take one of them and just study the other one uh or take both you know i took all three i feel like it gave me a great foundational knowledge over uh you know networking over security over just computer servers anything of that nature operating systems uh command line uh all those things so if you don't have a degree i would definitely say you know try to get you know network plus security plus because these can be things you can put on your resume that can give you uh you know credentials and things that people will look and say oh like okay he might know a little bit of something uh, and get you in front of more recruiters, in front of more employers, and, uh, you know, give you more of a shot. If you do have a degree, I would say look over all these materials as far as A+, plus, Network+, plus, Security+, plus. Uh, maybe take one depending on which route you're trying to go down, uh, but I would probably say jump to the CCNA if you have a degree, so it's going to give you leverage when going into these into these interviews most of them i mean mostly when i see industry really don't have degrees to be quite frank colleges do not know how to differentiate computer science and it uh they think it is computer science and programming which it is not so you really don't need a degree uh to be in the it industry because the colleges and universities haven't even caught up to the it industry yet uh as a select few uh, so I would say definitely jump to the CCNA because the CCNA is really where things get real. I know this video isn't about the CCNA, but this is pretty much what I'm saying as far as uh, should you take these exams or not. Uh, they give you great foundational knowledge, but it's not a lot of things that you're going to be applying every day on the job. It gives you like terms and tools. You'll know what they are, but you really won't know how to use them. And that's why I say go to the CCNA because the CCNA actually teaches you how to troubleshoot, uh, you know, routers, switches, how to configure, you know, routes, 
how to configure DNS, how to configure DHCP, how to configure port security, and all of these different things. So if you have the money to just blow on certifications and you have the time, you know, go get all three of them like I did and, you know, get the certifications. But it's you got to know kind of what you're using the certifications for. It's not really a thing where you just want to pile up certifications. You kind of want to get them and have a use for them. So that would be the big thing I would say. But, you know, to each your own. I hope you all have found this video insightful. Hope it helped you all. I hope uh, I can give you all some knowledge and help anybody that's looking to get into the IT industry. Don't get me wrong, I'm not downplaying these uh, certifications. They were a great help to me in getting into the industry and finding jobs. Uh, so I'm not downplaying them at all. But I uh, just want to give you all the real, the honest truth. Uh, hope it helps you all. And thank you for being here. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. We're going to try to get this, uh, get this page popping. And, and see what we can do. Uh, and just, you know, follow follow the journey and, and hope I can help some more people uh, to get on their IT path as well. Uh, so, yeah. Y'all have a good one. Tap back in with me. And, uh, yeah, let's get a pop. Here.